Hey guys, welcome back to channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be reacting to last challenge and the best call I made to that 6 of 12. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Calling the religions of the world to get together onto a common platform. Better principles of getting together. Worship of the one true God, the only God that there is and that we associate no partners with him and from among ourselves as if a sheikh or an imam or a bishop or a pope or a rabbi he deserves any special position other than the knowledge that which he has we respect the man for his knowledge whether he's a pope or a bishop or a rabbi or a sheikh or an alim we respect the man but otherwise he has no right or authority over you other than that which is given by god almighty in his holy book with these words i say i'm very grateful for organize this meeting and I'm at your disposal. And at question time, since the mics are provided, I would like my Muslim brethren to give our non-Muslim friends a chance first. You see in, uh, what's that, Bureda. At question time, the first man that came there, he had to identify himself Muslim. He asked the question, I answered. The second man came there, he identified himself Muslim. I answered his question. Third gentleman came there again, Muslim. He identified himself. I answered his question. Fourth guy. Fifth fellow. I said, hey, are you a Muslim? He said, yes, I go and sit down. Give our Christian brothers a chance. So tonight, before we, it starts you know, deteriorating the situation, allow our Christian brethren a chance first. And if there's nobody to ask any questions, means they accept everything that I've said. That means they've accepted Islam. They are converted. Then there's no problem. Then we give to the Muslims a chance to come and ask me a question. <laughs> My dear brother, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much, Brother Ahmed. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of you, I, I wish to express our profound appreciation to Brother Ahmed for his thought-provoking speech here this evening. I also wish to express my appreciation for your disciplined attention throughout this lecture. Uh, I'm sure that you have been stimulated, and uh, I'm, I'm quite sure also that you wish to probe Brother Ahmed further. Uh, we would wish that you, those of you who wish to ask questions, uh, restrict yourselves strictly to the topic of this lecture. Uh, in the interest of uh, economy and equity, equality, we are forced to limit you to one question per person in the first instance. However, it may be possible, time permitting, for you to ask another question, but this would only occur after all other questioners have had an opportunity to put their questions to Brother Ahmed. Uh, the arrangement would be as follows. Uh, we shall form a, an orderly queue along the right side of the auditorium, and there you will find two ushers. The first one will permit you to leave the queue in order to put your questions at the microphones further up front. The, the second usher at the microphones will help you, will assist you in, in putting your questions to your question to Brother Ahmed. Uh, the procedure for putting your question will be simply that you uh, first identify yourself, then in order to facilitate good order and clarity of information, we kindly request that you make your question direct, brief, and succinct, to the point. <coughs> After you have <coughs> delivered your question, the, the second usher will direct you, will conduct you away from the microphone, and you will leave the area of the microphone by traveling, presumably along the front here, of the, at the foot of the stage. Uh, thereafter, this will permit uh, Brother Ahmed to respond uh, to your question directly, hopefully to your joint satisfaction. Uh, if you wish to pose another question, then you please walk along the rear and regain uh, a place at the end of the queue on the right side. And for the ladies, uh, their questions and writing should follow the same rules which I have just mentioned of uh, limitation, one question per person. Uh, they should be brief and also they should be succinct, direct and to the point. Uh, their question, uh, the lady's question, will in turn 
be forwarded to Brother Ahmed for his response. Uh, please, I implore you, follow these guidelines, and if you do, uh, hopefully we shall have, uh, we shall all benefit from this, this exercise. Uh, may I invite you, therefore, the audience to uh, put your questions. Uh, please join the queue here uh, at your convenience, and in the case of the ladies, please submit your questions in writing. Okay, you have a Christian for the first questioner tonight. Um, you made reference to 25 mentions of Jesus in the Quran under the name of Sidna Isa. And my question to you is, uh, do you not think that the Sidna Isa of the Quran is a completely different person from the Jesus of the Gospels? In that uh, the Sidna Isa of the Quran was not the Son of God, whereas the Jesus of the Gospels is, that the Sidna Isa of the Quran was not crucified, whereas the, Sid, uh, whereas the Jesus of the Gospels was, that the Sidna Isa of the Quran was the son of Miriam, the sister of Aaron, the brother of Moses, who therefore lived 1,500 years before the historical Jesus, the son of Mary, <coughs> who was not uh, Miriam, uh, the Miriam, the, the sister of Aaron. Uh, brother, may I just remind you that though the chairman said one question at a time, they have already asked more than a dozen. <laughs> you know, it's, you, put, you are putting me to the task now of delivering another lecture. See, and will not give anybody else a chance. One question has, would be have flattened me. Now, to start with, you see, if it was one by one, it's easier for me, for this old machine, you know, to catch that one and deal with it, and the next one and deal with it is easier on this old machine. But I will try to remember, and I hope somebody will remind me if I have missed out, uh, yourself also. Don't hesitate to interject that you have, answer, you have not answered this or that. First is Isa. The Quran mentions him as Isa, Isa ibn Maryam, Jesus, son of Mary. Translated, Jesus, son of Mary. So the Christian now, eh, since you're a Christian, he says, no, this can't be the same Jesus. Because his Jesus is Jesus, son of God, not son of Mary. First is Jesus, the word Jesus. I'm asking, is that, was that his name? When he was born, Luke tells us that when he was eight days old, he was circumcised and named, named? Yeshua. No, don't lie, please. <laughs> now you are lying. Here's your book. Here's the Bible. I want you to read from Luke chapter 2, verse 23. I want you to read it for the benefit of the people, whether it was, what did you say just now? Jesus, the Greek form of Yeshua. <clears throat> Is Yeshua written there? The Hebrew name. Not, what is written in your Bible? It's the Greek Bible, Jesus. In, in, no, no, English Bible. You're talking English. What's in the English Bible? Jesus. Right. So it says, and will be named Jesus, and was named Jesus before he was in his mother's womb. He was named Jesus by the angel before he was in his mother's womb. So I'm asking, is that what the angel said, Jesus? You were better informed. You said, no, Yeshua. Right. That was his name, Yeshua, not Jesus. Then where does Jesus come from? This is the Latinized form of the Hebrew word Esau. See, which is a common name among the Jews. Yeshua is classical. Like your, uh, your, your presidents, you say, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Carter. I'm sure he was not named Jimmy by his mother and father. They must have named him James. But everybody calls him Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. So the Jimmy sticks and we call him Jimmy. But I'm sure his name was not Jimmy. Like that, you call people's name, nicknames. Jesus was never called Jesus in his life. Uh, to find the distinction between the two Jesus mentioned, be it Isa in the Quran or Jesus in the thing uh, in the Bible, um, I don't know. If you want to separate them, then what's the whole point of separating them? I would love to understand the thought, his thought train, you know. What was he trying to prove by asking what he asked, by trying to differentiate the two of them? 
um let me know what you guys actually think if there's anything you can add to the explanation as to what i've asked or what he asked you're always welcome to comment down below uh, if there's anything you want me to react to let me know down below as well just give me the name or the link uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video